Hi, my name is Leslie. I work as the customer education specialist here at Automated Business Products. Today we're going to talk about adding something to the address book on your Keys Data Task Rack. All right, so once you're at your main user screen, we're going to start by hitting the Send button. And along the right-hand side, you'll see some options here um, in regards to adding somebody for your particular scan. For our purposes, we're going to go into the address book. And it's going to feel a little redundant, but for this particular example, we're going to add somebody to scan to email. So right off to the right-hand side, you'll see this add or edit address book. It's going to feel a little redundant, but we're essentially going to hit this button until it goes away. So first, go ahead and hit the add or edit address book. Now again, we have the address book up here to the top left. Go ahead and hit the add or edit. And for the fun of it, we're going to do it one more time. Go ahead and hit add once more. At this point, you're going to be asked whether you want to add a contact or a group. Since you can select multiple people each time you go to scan to email, let's go ahead and start by adding a single contact. By doing a group, you're grouping, um, pre-grouping people together um, to send a single email to. Now, along the top, it looks like it's asking you a whole bunch of stuff. You can ignore 90% of it. For our purposes, we are adding a scan to email address, so all we need is name and email. These other options up here are scan to folder options, and then, of course, you do also have a fax option if your particular machine is capable of that. Alrighty, so now that we're in this section, we're going to begin under the name column here. So go ahead, under name, hit the change button, and this is where you'll be able to type in your username. Finalize that by hitting the OK button, and now we'll be back at the previous screen. Going forward, we're going to go under the Email tab up top here and repeat the process. Go ahead and hit Change and type in your email address. Perfect. Finalize that by hitting OK once more and we'll be back to the previous screen. Because we were just doing name and email, those again are the only tabs we have to pay attention to. So now that all of our information has been input, go ahead and hit the save button. You'll be asked one final question, whether you want to add this user to the one touch key. These are the users on the front screen here, maybe people you scan to more frequently. That way you won't have to root through an address book with potentially hundreds of names. You'll be able to have your main users right front and center. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. From here, it's going to have us choose an open spot. So select an open spot and hit next. And it's just asking us to verify the information. Now on this screen here, it's going to pre-populate the name you have just typed in. If you want, though, you can opt to change it here at this point as well. If no changes are necessary, go ahead and hit save. And that's all you'll need to do to add somebody to scan to email. Now if I are back on the main screen here, You'll see that I have added myself onto the one touch key, which are these people again on the front screen here. And now my user is ready to scan to email. That is scanning to email in a nutshell. Feel free to give us a comment if you have any questions. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on future training videos. And if you do need extra help, you are more than welcome to email our help desk at helpdesk at abpcopy.com.